guys? Rev here. And today in the 6 Millimeter Podcast, I got two special guests. I got Kyle, a.k.a. Rad Plastic, a.k.a. Laser Viper, a.k.a. the, <laughs> the artist formerly known as Dick Butt. Hello, hello. And with me as well is Leah, a.k.a. Tactical Unicorn. I'm the worst. A.k.a. Spartan <laughs> Leah. <laughs> yeah, AKA, also. A.k.a. Spartan Leah. From a. back in the day. So how are you guys doing tonight? How's everyone doing? Uh, good? Pretty good. I'm still really tired from Milson West, actually. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> Kyle? I'm fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I'm really tired from my desk job. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's almost Friday, so you know. Hell yeah. We got some t- yeah, so but I think I'm we're already starting off. I'm having a hurricane right now. Oh no. Like, like the drink? Real? Yeah, the hurricane drink. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> I thought you meant <laughs> yeah. the 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 you know like, like the tropical storm cuz you're the tropical storm. storm. That's what they're called. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they, that's what they are called. But no, I'm drinking the one that's going to be slamming. <laughs> I'm having a vodka and lemonade. I'm nice. drinking rum chata. Ooh. Explain to the audience what a rum chata is. It's horchata with rum. <laughs> oh. And it's delicious. It is really good. Mm, definitely. So, what to talk about? What to talk about? Man, I feel like, should we talk about Milsim West or should we talk about YouTube first? Let's talk about Milsim West. Hell yeah. Let's it's start a good, on a positive. It's a good Let's start on yeah, let's start on a positive, right? So, Leah, Milsa yes. West happened. Tell yes. me all about it. Oh, man, it was insane. It was so insane. But in a good way. It's The insurgency game styles are just so, so interesting because people have a chance, as Josh put it at the end of it, some of you are just psychopaths <laughs> that want to run around and cause mayhem. <laughs> and that's exactly wow. what happened for a lot of it. Um, it was really cool to see the format in a more organized city as opposed to where it had been the, the previous two years where it had been in Victorville. It was cool to see it um, in a in a mount town where people had access to electricity and stuff like that. And the civilian population for this one was the highest civilian population they've ever had. They had almost 200 players on the civilian side. So Nice. They had enough for wow. three separate towns, basically. So there were three different towns going this whole time. They had uh, shuttles going back and forth. They had taxi services. They had uh, some people from the, <laughs> the, some of the K people brought a party bus that was like an actual school bus. So it was pretty crazy. I saw there was a, an actual bicycle gang. Yeah, yeah, there was a bicycle gang. They only had one bicycle <laughs> and the tire on it blew. Uh, oh, but no. <laughs> there, oh, were also, wow. <laughs> there were also bike cops there that rode their <laughs> bikes around a lot. Um, there was a there was a nightclub there as well oh, nice. uh, with oh, DJs and like laser light <laughs> shows and stuff. That, and it was in the basement and of course only open at night. I have some pretty interesting footage from there. <laughs> I saw some like lasers and some like some lights and some yeah. craziness there. Yeah. Lots it of was... dancing. Oh my God. There's... Can you imagine just be going to a club and just seeing everybody with like eye pro and you're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With like everybody. Well, they, they had a weapons check there. There was mandatory weapons check at the, at the front. Uh, some people oh. got in the club. If you were special, you could get in the club with your weapon though. Mm. Yeah. There was also a barbecue place with like pulled pork and brisket and all oh, kinds man. of like Holy Yeah. Crap. It was really really good. And you could use real money here too. So and there was coffee shops, a grocery store. Um it was it was really cool. A police station, a movie theater. There was uh like a DMV where you had to go if you died then if you completely died and bled <laughs> out, you had to go back to the DMV and and get a new citizenship card. And it wasn't all like it wasn't always open, so people would have to wait for it to be open, and then they would have to wait in line. <laughs> Just like the really DMV. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wow. was really funny. 
And like, what about like the NATO and the Rush and the Off Four? Like when they, like, did, I guess they didn't make a line at the the DMV because that'd be a very weird looking line. <laughs> yeah, no, that that DMV line was essentially just for civilians. Mm-hmm. The the NATO and Rust 4, they had different rules. They were both in different... Well, the NATO was actually in part of the town, uh, right next to the, all of the citizens. And so that caused, created a lot of tension, obviously, because the, mm-hmm. the citizens didn't like NATO being in their town. Um, and then the Russians, a lot of them ended up bringing civilian clothes. And so a lot of them walked around as civilians and would occasionally back up the police on raids. Whether or not there was cause for the, those raids was <laughs> uh, sometimes debatable. Ah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So the police seemed to be a little corrupt. Uh, everybody seemed to be a little corrupt, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big shit show. Yeah, but that's what made it interesting. There's, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting at least a trailer or something but even the footage that i've seen that's come out from that game so far has been pretty cool looking so there was trouble in terrorist town there was oh. they tried to do oh. a there was, they tried to do a prisoner handover and both rust for and nato had agreed on it but the the prisoner that they were trying to hand over went ham and blew himself up and then <laughs> And what then the? all of his buddies started shooting at everybody, which caused everyone to shoot at everyone. And it was <laughs> no. just m- mass chaos. So, That's yeah. Funny. <laughs> it, was, and uh, I heard, like, it was an experience. It was cool. I mean, it's just insane, like, how creative it is because it's a totally different type of milsim. And for the people that are listening, it's, like, it's almost, like, closer to, like, a LARP than yeah. anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's totally. very, very LARP heavy for sure. And I think that's mm-hmm. what makes it so fun because so many people get invested into these really entertaining characters and a lot of them don't break character for their almost the entire weekend, which makes it just a very surreal experience, which is always fun. At least I think so. No, oh I, I totally agree. The only Milsim West game I've been to so far was TKI in Victorville. And uh-huh. that... Was that was the first insurgency game, wasn't it? With the civilian faction? Uh, yes. So, yes. from what I understand, a lot of guys that go to Milsim West games that normally go Rust 4 went civilian for that game. And um, we ended up <laughs> being kind of stuck in our FOB with not a lot to do. So they're like, if you guys want to go into town, just let us know where you're going. Let us know when you think we'll be back and you can just go. Like, bring, you know, bring a sidearm with you if you want, but like... It, we're not going to be doing any missions tonight. So it's like, okay, so we go into town, and like Leah said, it is so surreal. Everyone there has, like, their weird, funny personas, and it kind of actually feels like being in another country. It's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, that's the... And, like, Camp Shelby is, like, a perfect place for it, too, because it, it has, like, all those buildings, and it has, right. like, a huge-ass, like, four-story mosque, and mm-hmm. it was fun. I wish I would have... I actually went there for a trench knife uh, for Third Coast, mm-hmm. and, man, it was, like, the, the the people that came out of it talking about it were pretty... It was, like, night and day. Like, it was different, like, completely different, whereas, like, more, like, oh, it was very tactical, whereas... You know, the people that I talked to that went to the event last week were like, oh, my God, they had so much fun. They were like insurgents. They were playing in the mosque and they were trying to be come off as a, as a, as a was a Muslim or what? Like there's like a, it was a Muslim mosque, right? There, um, there was an Islam sect, like there was an Islam town there. Mm-hmm. And so there was a group of people that were, you know, LARPing as Islam. And so <laughs> it, it, some of them, it actually was, I believe, the Serbian police. I can't remember who barricaded. They were actually just betraying everybody and they just barricaded themselves inside the mosque, which is the most defensible building in there because it's just the only way to get up stairs is like one. There's one set of stairs and you can shoot at that set of stairs from all sides of the building. So. Oh. It's like impossible Oof. to to break in. So once you're defending that, you're good. And they were just a group of rebels that went in, and then no one could get them out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was crazy. Damn, that sounds fun. And like the video of like the, I think that the real steel really did um, make it like 
really make it like come out. And what do you prefer, like playing like a civilian, or do you sometimes pre prefer playing like, um, like like an opposition or a NATO or? Well, I actually haven't got to play play any of these games yet because I've always gone as press since okay. that's where you can get the most unbiased view essentially like that way I can walk into the NATO base with no problems I can walk right. into the rest war base with no problems the civilians um, it's still kind of challenging but <laughs> not as challenging so that's why I, ha I have done press uh, in the future for the next one I really want to go civilian though and I have a plan for it just because it seems like the most opportunity to be really creative, which is what I would enjoy doing. So I definitely want to try to go civilian at some point just for that reason. I, Kyle, what do you, what, what would you pick? I totally agree with civilian. So again, I've only done one Milsim West game and I want to do more, but I went Rust4. Um, out of, if, like if the, if the choices are only NATO or Rust4, I'm, I'm going to pick Rust4 like 99% of the time just because it's more like it's like the weirdo squad and <laughs> it really is it's like those are like my people and um yeah. <laughs> Bruda, Bruda. i feel like a lot of people on the russian side honestly realize that they're pretending and sometimes people on nato don't <laughs> yes seriously oh, right. hey yeah, yeah that makes sense so but so i when i saw the civilian side i was like i i messed up i should have gone civilian this looks so cool <laughs> Um, one of the people that I was talking to um, in the civilian faction had literally driven themselves out to the field a week prior to hide contraband for themselves. What? Like people, what? yeah, like people for what? the civilian side, like they just, I just love how like into it they get. And I would yeah. love to like come up with my own character for that. Oh my God. Can you imagine them trying to do that at like a Camp Shelby, where they show up in their in their in the camp or the in the base, and they're like, "Yeah, we're just here to uh, put some holes around here. You don't mind, right?" That's yeah. Just turn off the cameras. It's okay. Totally fine. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't work there. I would. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, security forces will be like all in that ass. <laughs> <coughs> But yeah, and the one difference about like um, Wilson, Wilson West with a lot of other places that they allow for like live fire and a lot of that stuff. And how does that like really change the environment when it when they like start when firefights start happening? Oh, it absolutely changes it. It's crazy. It, it, yeah. mm -hmm. It's easy to forget kind of like what you're doing. And sometimes you'll react to the fire just hearing it like you, you kind of get that like moment where you jump a little bit because it's it surprises you. Mm -hmm. Um I guess, you know, one of the things that people and and we it just kind of went on in the uh, the general interest group was people talking about blank fire and people who don't react to it. I think that's the only thing that can kind of like take take away from the blank fire is if you're getting shot at by blank fire, you either should be reacting in some way like you're ducking for cover or die. And sometimes yeah. people don't. And when that happens, it does kind of take away from it. Mm -hmm. Sure. But <laughs> I think it's it's lessening now because people are coming with like for instance at this insurgency game there was a guy there with an MG42 and he just oh. had belts and Ooh. belts and belts of ammo <laughs> it was insane That's oh so no rough. yeah oh god yeah so i'm seeing a lot more fully automatic capable weapons showing up which obviously just makes it crazy during those firefights and also really fun because <laughs> you're like, oh Christ. my god, we're in the shit. <laughs> All of these fake bullets keep flying by my face. These imaginary bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. And it, and of course, like it's really hard to like post any of that video up on YouTube. I can imagine like people putting it like on uh, live leak, and then people complaining, "Oh my God, look at them! They're invading! <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks like a more like back in the remember like I think it was like a year ago where they actually posted like a live leak footage of a um, of like a Milsim event, and people were like, "Oh, like they had a bunch of like uh, what was it? It was, like, it was like a NATO. It was like Caspian breakout, I think." <clears throat> Yeah, at the G at a at a, a, guard. Gu a guardian setting. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and people were like complaining. Oh, look at that! There's they're not reacting to the recoil. Oh, this looks weird. <laughs> oh, what are they man. doing? There's no <laughs> tactics. This is just these are all mercenaries. These are mercenaries. These are uh, contractors. Yeah. So yeah. Leah, funny. the 
the video that that guy posted in the Milson West interest group, it looked like it was from uh, the World War II game at 559. Was that a PPSH? The, I don't know which video you're talking about. So when the whole discussion about blank fire was happening, somebody posted a video where he's mm-hmm. like, it's it's clearly Hill 559 just because if you've ever been there, you, like, you know what it looks mm-hmm. like. There's a group of like six or seven guys who are probably like three or 400 feet away and he shouts, he goes, hey! And they all look at him and he just unloads like a volley of bullets. <laughs> and, and then one guy, just one out of the group, just like dies. <laughs> I was like, yes, uh, that guy's my hero. Uh, yeah, that was also at that game. There were a lot of um, people there who had obviously never been exposed to blank fire before. It yeah. was very, 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 very entry level. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, the 1945 game. I mean, it was 50 bucks for a weekend. That's true. So, so yeah. it was guess... obviously like, it, it was obviously like a lot of, a lot of entry level people. A lot of people who hadn't played a Milsim before. There were some Milsim West people there before, but it was yeah. mainly like local. Uh, entry. I don't know. That's all I like, guess. Entry level airsofters. I don't know how else to put it. It's just it's interesting because I thought maybe with the dynamic of it being a very period based game that it would attract more, I guess, like veteran players. So that's interesting that it was actually the opposite. It was it was like half half reenactors oh, okay. and then half really new players. <laughs> so obviously the reenactors are like, Ree! but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine the Russian guys would be like that. Ree! Yeah, but they had fun. I saw some of them, a, a few of them that were reenactors only ended up coming to the Milson West game. Uh, last Dan Rostov, I saw a few of them there and I talked to them and they, they're going to start doing airsoft now just because they went to that World War II game. So that's, that's awesome. cool. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I don't think it's really, so I've had going back to to your point about the problems with YouTube and blank fire and how that affects I think it's really just how it seems to be I don't know there's a lot of controversy around it I'm glad I'm actually somewhat glad that YouTube is putting more specific wording yes. around how they are going yeah. to control and monetize or demonetize or whatever for videos because before it was just like if it portrays violence we're going to dink it and so actually ever since so they had their the huge falling out on youtube and views went down for everybody airsofters and real steel right after the parkland shooting just because oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah apparently people were going through and just flagging channels so much so that that youtube just de- like took down a bunch of them and then came back right. and was like oh sorry our bad and of course that kind of screwed everybody but i've noticed ever since they came out with this new policy and um they've actually for uh, at least on our end things have started to go back up so and i haven't been getting dinged as much for for like Milsim West type videos because I put really explicitly in all of them that it's an airsoft game. And I'm trying to be really careful about that because I don't want to be one of the people that misleads people and just trying to get, uh, I don't know, trying to get it on live leak. Like that's not what I'm into. Cause yeah. <laughs> cause <laughs> I realize that people. we're playing a game and I don't want to try to pretend like it's not a game. Um, but there are people who want to do that. So I feel like, I'm hoping anyway, as long as you're following the YouTube rules, then you'll be okay. Because the problem that initially came about was just because YouTube hadn't been following their own rules for exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like over a decade. So they yep. have a lot of crap that they have to catch up on. Yeah, I don't know if uh, either of you saw, but I actually just did a video that I released. No, I, I wanted to watch it. On the, yeah, I on saw the it. It was good. Point. And, and really for me, what it boils down to is it, it, it creates very clear guidelines around firearms channels. 
And for all the people who I saw that were like freaking out about it, I'm like, well, wait a minute. You guys realize. Well, I got something to say about that. I got is, something to say about that. <laughs> you have an Airsoft channel. You now have clear guidelines where if, if for whatever reason, YouTube dinged, you can go, well, I'm not a firearms channel. So exactly. this doesn't really fall under that. And it all it is, I feel, is like the people that are like freaking out is just a bunch of FUD, you know? It's something that just like get them all riled up and just to get the attention to like something to a, a non, I would say not a non-issue. Well, and you I, know, I hate to be is, all like fake news on everybody, but honestly, when you read the articles that were posted the day that the changes went out, they're actually misleading. They, they all, are all the titles of the articles make it sound like YouTube is banning all gun videos. And that's not at all what the, right. the language they put out said. It's it's videos that teach you how to convert guns to automatic fire videos that teach you how to make mock silencers or actual silencers or modify various parts of guns, which I mean, for a lot of well-known and respected actual firearms channels doesn't affect them at all. Yeah, like most of those things that they that they included are that they said that they will be banning. Yeah. On YouTube are already illegal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So Exactly. Yeah, that's what I I also didn't understand all of the outrage around it because I was like, well, none of us are doing any of this stuff, so we like why is everybody so mad? I don't get it. I mean, I do get that some people think it'll be <laughs> I mean, a slippery slope and all of a sudden they'll start coming after I, airsoft. Yeah. But I feel like Airsoft is getting so closely associated with gaming that I'm hoping that they won't because there are so many gaming channels that also do Airsoft. Oh, totally. Like, Node is a huge Ooh, this example is interesting. of that. Yeah, yeah. Node, now, I mean, like, even, even like, the really huge channels, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll get an Airsoft gun and plink around with it occasionally. Yeah. But. And where do you think that draws a line of like people like be having those kind of YouTubers like be like like a conduit, almost like an entryway for newer players to come in and play? Because that's all I saw with like Level Cap back in 2013 or 14 when he was making videos and yeah. talking about airsoft. Like he was like like pushing a lot of airsofters, like pushing a lot of new airsofters to the field. Yeah. And now it's like. Because Novridge is like the new, is like not the new. What am I talking about? <laughs> like he's like the, the airsoft, the big time, like the biggest airsoft yeah. YouTube airsofter. He's the airsoft like, not, Jesus. His, <laughs> what's up, guys? He's the <laughs> airsoft get, uh, Arnold, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did you put him in the bag because he didn't? Sa he wasn't jacked like Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> No. But I kid. <laughs> and like, and the thing is like, and the thing is like, that's, like, I feel like it's also a good thing, but you know, sometimes like when there's like a new, a huge burst of players, I think there's a lot of like miss, they'll like, the, they think that, oh, I'm just going to bring out this, like this completely stock Walmart gun and just be like, <laughs> like Dutch or whoever, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, D Dayton can pull it off. <laughs> yeah. But he's Canadian. <laughs> 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 oh, date boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can Canadian man. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I, that's just really new players in general, though. That that it takes a while before you realize of playing, before you realize, and I mean, and some people never realize it. Um, <laughs> they never realize like what their gun is capable of and what they're capable and what what they are and aren't capable of. So they'll just always be ridiculous but then sometimes people if i think the solution to a lot of people that are are ridiculous and like complain about stuff if they would just buy a zoom cam that would solve so oh many gosh. problems Seriously. and if they watch their footage it would solve <clears throat> so many problems i'm actually about to post a video we did a a day at Wildlands, me and Brain just now, and this guy who was wearing like a surplus tan jumpsuit, you could tell like he probably hasn't been playing airsoft for a long time, was having a rough day and he's like yelling at people and calling people out. And at one point he comes over, he's got his dead rag on and I knew what he was doing. He was doing that walk that, oh, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind walk. So I, so I literally- oh, This game is serious. I've been playing. Right. I'm, uh, yeah. So I literally experience. came out from behind cover to wait for this guy. I was just like, standing like, all right, what do you, what do you got for me? And yeah. he goes, I know I hit one of you. And I'm like, you didn't, man, I'm sorry, but you didn't hit anybody here. 
And he's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just call my hits even though you guys are cheating. And I was like, well, I'm recording, so I guess I'll just have to show YouTube that I wasn't cheating. <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh, man. Yeah. Those... It's the same. Yeah. It's just embarrassing, really. Yeah, especially because... I've I've had that happen too, and it's always with like old older yes. guys, yep, like that guy's forty true. plus. It was, yep. He was an older yeah. guy. Yeah, and I think personally, it's because they their think eyes just gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just it's because of an age, like an age and pride thing. Like I'm a grown man, I'm not gonna get shot by a twelve year old. Oh, I'm yeah. way better yeah. than that. I could see that. Yeah. That and they left like, their, their bifocals at home. Yeah, that too. <laughs> so my Walmart gun that I've been using for seven years has has always got everybody, and they won't call it because they're just a bunch of cheaters. And then you just shoot it; it's like there, it's always blank firing. You know, yeah. it's like uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I've seen some really crazy stuff where like one guy we were playing an objective game, and like I'm holding down like this button, and every time you press the button, like it turns off. So I press it off. The guy like walks up and he's like, "Stop touching!" And he like slaps my hand in the middle of the game. <laughs> what? He's like, "I hit you! I hit you! I hit you!" Like that. What? And he like proceeds to like turn the the button on. And I'm like, "Okay," and like I walk out because I didn't. He of course I didn't. He didn't hit me, but he, he was like all like upset and shit. And then like one time he comes up to me and like he starts like blind firing and stuff, and I sh start shooting his hand. He's like, "You don't need to shoot my hand." Oh my um, goodness. Well, if that's the only thing you're going to present, then yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's always funny to me because I see, I I saw a debate on the internet somewhere where people were talking about how young kids have ru are ruining Airsoft. Like, they're, they're what's wrong with Airsoft. It's all the kids. No. Uh. And personally, most of the meltdowns I see, and but this may be because I generally... At <laughs> Miami Airsoft. <laughs> <laughs> I generally play with an older crowd, I think, for the most part. Like, we don't probably only p play pickup games, like, once or twice a month. So, mm. but generally, all of the people that I see losing their shit and, and being ridiculous on the field are almost always adults. And, yep. like, grown-ass adults that are, like... 40 and over just absolutely losing it on the field to some like 15 year old or something yeah or i mean or to another adult but that's that's what i see the most is just adults who should know better losing <laughs> losing their <laughs> cool on the field yeah, it thinks it's like a UFC fight. It's just like, oh, he's not calling hits. It's time to go UFC. Yeah. I'm going to go call him McGregor on you. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. <laughs> Because I watched UFC twice. I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty much MMA, bro. <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah, you actually bring up a good point. I think that <clears throat> problems with... Um, so I'm going to break it into two categories. The problems I see that happen with overshooting a lot of times is younger kids. But the problems with people like calling other people out or getting super aggro is almost always adults who are like oh, having meltdowns. Oh, good point. Yes, yes. You're exactly right. I think I think a lot of times kids also just don't have a concept of how much pain they're causing or they don't right. care. Like no, kids totally. can be pretty terrible. Oh, totally. But, but they they can be pretty terrible, but they're not going to confront anybody cuz they're scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they they wait to uh, post comments on your YouTube video. Yeah. Remember, remember the, remember the yeah. SC kids <laughs> that were like, you went full auto on us. And we were like, remember the, how at the beginning of the game they said full auto was allowed? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that was funny. And also, I was shooting full auto from like, over a hundred feet away. So oh yeah, there's it was like no way that feet. could have hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason you kept shooting is because they weren't calling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was funny. Uh, yeah. That's almost as funny as the time I apparently got a HPA band at HSP. Oh what? right, yeah. What? The, mm -hmm. the kid that said thanks, Leah. <laughs> yeah, someone, 
set like Airsoftology <laughs> came out in a video and was talking about how HPA got ba- banned at HSP. And there's a couple kids that were saying that it was all my fault, and I was like, I've never even played there before. <laughs> how? How is this my fault? <laughs> but oh my god. That's how and do you think it's like a specific group that it's associated to with it? Because sometimes I feel like it's just, like, I don't know what it is, but like sometimes I feel like there's like a specific group that it's always specific towards. Are you trying like to say kind of speed softers? Like, I'm not saying any names. You're putting the names in my you're putting words in my mouth, brother. That's a like a specific group that the complaining is coming out of, or a specific group that like hate is coming is hate is going towards. Uh, uh yeah, there's definitely a lot of hate that comes uh that's directed at speed softers. And then I would say there are are a few speed softers who make a bag name for everybody just because they make the oh, cringiest videos. Totally. You got to put that like that sound SoundCloud rapper music with like, you know, them just lighting up the whole team when they're just like respawning or just like they're just waiting around and in the corner like, "Hey, do I spawn now? Is this the respawn?" Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Took them out. I think it's there's I think there's a lot of good speed softers. It's just oh, par- only only the crappy ones get the attention un- right now, unfortunately. No, that's unfortunate because like the Tax City Speed QB game that just happened, like all those teams, those are like legit teams that like train for that event. Yeah, I want to see <clears throat> one of those. I don't want to play in one first because I'm sure I'd get my butt waxed for sure because I've never done it before. <laughs> but I'd like to go see it and then and then try it out. I think it would be fun. Oh, totally. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you're trying to yeah, say is we're gonna st- we're gonna start a team, right? Yeah, let's start a speed soft team. All right. Done. Oh my god, what are we? What's it gonna be called? What's what's the team gonna be called? Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find out who's on it first, besides me and Kyle. <laughs> all right, all right. So we got so we gotta, so that means that we gotta make a dream team. We gotta first come up with the dream team. Well, it'll probably I think be- so. I'm gonna invite Jet just because I live with him, and that's all. That's very easy to bring him along. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I think um, we should bring Cookie into the fold. Yeah, if he can come down, if he can make it down for a a thing, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, for sure. That would be fun. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, um, I want to get Matt to do it too, Evic Matt, because oh, that's yeah. actu- that's his jam. That's what he really likes. Is really? Is like a speed speedsofter? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And so I think he'd be a really good teammate as well if Heck we could yeah. get him into it. That's what he started. Nice. That's what he started Airsoft on. And, like, he goes to Milsom events, but they're definitely not his favorite. He would r- much rather play indoor uh, CQB. I, you wow. know what? Honestly, sometimes I'm in the same boat. Like, when Forge was open, I, oh, we went to that, we wore that field out when it was open. <laughs> that was, like, the first place that we ever went to play, and, like, it was just so freaking fun with all the doors and everything. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I liked Forge, too. Was, yeah. that, was that that place with, uh, with like, the like the second floor that you could watch people from down, from under, and they were doing, that's where Node was playing a lot of their yeah. TTT games? Yeah. Aw. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Yep. Yeah. Rest in pepperonis. Oh my god, you <laughs> took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so that was um but yeah, that's something that's I mean back to like speed stuff. I think like you know, there's like you know, people that you know, they get a lot of hate. I think there's like a lot of really good people like S Y G and Amy and a few L- other people that are pretty LTD, good. L T D, don't forget my boy Manny. <laughs> LTD, Manny. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's there's definitely plenty of of good uh, speedsoft teams. They just don't get as much love because they're not dicks. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it's true. It's like that whole like sensationalism crap. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That, like people you hear that into. tap, <laughs> tap. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta st- start some beef with someone. Yeah, exactly. I think we need to. Cr- I think I need to come up with like a new, uh, like a Reventain Plantain, uh, like a, instead of like a um, like a trigger, it has to just be a button where you just hold the button down and it's like, 
a Brazilian BBs that come out. <laughs> like that grenade? Yes. That, oh, oh, yes. That the airsoft. Mi- is it the mic? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the mic. The mic. Forty mic, I think. Yeah. The forty yeah. mic. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically just makes your gun a strafer. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That. It's just. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't see a necessity in that. I think it's. I think it's overkill for sure. And I just see it causing. Well, actually, I saw once they announced it, I saw a bunch of indoor fields immediately come out and say like that it would be nope. banned. Yeah. 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 Get that shit on my face. That was a. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, how long before this gets banned? Well, and in their video, they kind of encourage abusing it. So, oh yeah. Because it's just people complaining about it. <laughs> yeah, so obviously fields are going to be like, wow, I can definitely see this getting abused at my field. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to oh deal God, with the man. headache from that. <laughs> it's like no full auto. And then you just have to, like, you said the gun was full auto. You didn't say about the grenade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Can you just imagine yeah. how, like, how many problems that would cause? Ugh. Oh, God. Oh. I think it would oh, accidentally like discharge. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun if you were playing with friends, but I think in a situation where you don't know the people you're playing against, you would just be a dick if you used it on them in a close quarter space, because it's like oh, what ooh. it's like what two mags or like an entire mid cap and like it's like a hundred less BBs, than a yeah. second. Yeah, it's like a hundred. Jesus, one hundred fifty. It was over a yeah. hundred. I'm pretty it sure it was an entire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh, it's an God. entire mid cap. I know that the the FPS on it is lower. Like I think it's like two something. But once you like spray that many BBs, does it really matter? It's gonna suck. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like if you're shooting 200 FPS, but you're getting hit with a hundred BBs in under <laughs> like in under that time, <laughs> it's still gonna it's still gonna, it's gonna cause suck. a lot of pain. It yeah. still could break skin. Like. Oh yeah. I've had my skin broken from guns that are shooting 350 that shoot too close. I can't yep. imagine yeah. getting shot with 100 BBs all at once from yeah. like 10 feet away. That would Oh suck. yeah. God damn. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> he burnt my patch. <laughs> That's what it should be called, the burnt my patch oh, grenade launcher. No kidding. The yeah. angsty <laughs> daddy doesn't love me. Right. Grenade love- launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it daddy, daddy problems. Daddy problems. Daddy problem. I didn't get enough hugs. <laughs> daddy issues. Yeah. So speaking about daddy issues and douchebags and d-bags, we get to it's that segment, <laughs> that oh, time cool. of the night. I'm, I'm nervous We're about ta- this. You're nervous. Yeah. Nervous. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. oh my god! This is the funnest part. I it think really this is, like, is fun. Here's yeah. The- Here's where I'm, my, we're going to have fun. I'm so the audience. Lie. So like when you guys first started doing the dick bag, I was like, damn it. Why did I have to be the first guest? This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were like, I you want to come on again? And I was like, this is like Steve Martin getting to host SNL again. Only I get to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, we're going to do the dick. Oh bag my God. <laughs> All right. So we're doing the dick bag. So we're going to come up with some names. From here, saw very popular people. You know, you're gonna tell them if they're a dick or not. Actually, no. Hold on. We're calling this now the hoe bag. So now, every time you say somebody's a hoe, so for example, if you say revenge, you say, is he a hoe or not? He's a hoe. Is that oh, what we do? Call me a hoe. <laughs> then I'm gonna play this soundtrack from Ludacris. <laughs> there you go. So I- now, so starting it off. All right. So we're going to do a double hoe bag because we have our two guests here. <laughs> so let's do this. So first on the chopping block, <laughs> Snoopy. <laughs> He's I love you, Snoopy. Ho. No. Wow. <laughs> Duh. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he, like his thing is being a troll. So. Oh my gosh. Duh. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Snoopy in a hoe bag too, but Snoopy, oh my Snoop, God. Snoopy's like the hoe that you love still, kind of a little bit, even though you know like he's he's done you dirty. He's like one of them dirty hoes. But he's, I love him, but he's not. You right. just love him because you have to. Yeah, it's like damn it, Snoopy. You oh just don't God. know any better. What are you doing? He's, wow. I mean, what do we so do? Do we rub his nose in it? <laughs> oh no! 
<laughs> All right, e house, e house, e house, e house, e house. <laughs> it depends on which e house that we get. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have my notes here say e house. Uh, he's so well put together on camera, so I can't call him a hoe. Okay. Like this is my opportunity, right? Because he put yeah, me, yeah, yeah. he put me in the dick bag, and I could put him right back in the hoe bag. Yeah, but yeah. So but there I'm you not, go. But I'm not gonna. You know why? Wow. Because I actually think that E House is one of the people that actually makes airsoft better. Um, I really like the Gun Gamers channel. Uh, it doesn't hurt that he's got that silky smooth voice. Like the dude should be doing <laughs> radio. No lie. Like he should be on the radio. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. He, true. I feel like he has the right attitude for the game, and uh, I'm I'm glad to call him a friend, even though we're just internet friends right now because we haven't met yet. Okay. Okay. People that use full auto on semi games. Oh, oh for show. Oh, for show. <laughs> yeah. There's like okay, okay. no. There's no excuse for that. Okay. Six millimeter valor. <laughs> so so this, this this comes up like in every one and i'm gonna be honest i don't i know there was something that went down and i don't really know what it is i missed it somehow so someone's got to enlighten me before i make a decision uh one of the guys from six millimeter valor is also a guy that claimed that he was a ranger and he was not and, oh. and then he proceeded to drag everybody through the dirt that called him out on it. And then it came out that he was not a ranger, and then he fell off the face of the airsoft world. Oh, is that the Atrox Ivan guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Hold on, we're getting to it. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. But the the six millimeter valor ho. straight up hoeing it up. Yeah, straight up hoeing it up. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Turns, turns no, tricks for quarters. They have ho valor. Oh, ho valor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Navi boy. <laughs> Navrich. Oh, he is my friend, but he is a hoe for show. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, like, I, I mean, he ta like, he sells absolutely everything possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How like, that's the definition hoe? of hoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God. As, as much as I, like, meme or tease him in my videos, like, I do respect the fact that he is at least trying to, like, do different stuff in Airsoft, even though sometimes people are like, it's so cringy. Like, he's still trying. Yeah. Well, and, and uh, yeah. oh, go ahead. That guy works his ass off. Like, oh, yeah, no when doubt. he was here, he is just working all the time from like, when he wakes up until late at evening. He's just working and hustling constantly. So, I mean, it's all the credit to him for being successful. He's just doing everything that he can to keep making money. <laughs> He's just hoeing himself out. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, rest in peace, kid. <laughs> oh. The kid or the guy who shot the kid? The guy that shot the kid. Oh, he's a hoe. He's a hoe and not a good one. Yeah. Not the good kind, the bad kind. The kind we, have that... good, we have good and bad hoes in this. In, the, yeah. <laughs> in this bag. This bag it's a mixed bag of hose. I'm saying some shit with this bag. Uh, DSG users. Uh, uh, depends on if you abuse it and if you brag about it like a douchebag. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's you know what I I I go beyond that because every time the HPA argument comes out and then the DSG users come out, those guys <laughs> you're the host. They come out from their cave. They're like, they come DSG, out like bad bad HPA, yeah. come to the DSG side. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I don't know. I never shoot I gotcha. full auto, so yeah. I just it's not my thing. I don't know. I don't see a point. It's cool. All right, uh, John Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the laughter says it all I'm loving this <laughs> oh man he's an airsoft hoe and he loves them at the same time <laughs> damn I mean it's only because I've I only say that because I've tried to really be nice to him and help him out, even though he's been 
at times super creepy toward me. I've gone to some of his games. I gave him some feedback and how I thought it would help. And I told him how much I enjoyed his games. And then I heard him. Uh, I got an email from Evix saying that he had all these complaints about us after a game. And then the Evic team that was there emailed him back and said, actually, no, none of those things happened, blah, blah, blah. And he emails them back and goes, yeah, you're right. What? Yeah. Uh, what, mate? Then why bring it up? Exactly. Like, he was just trying to talk shit. So I was just like, all right, dude. Like, I was completely, <laughs> no. I was completely nice to you, and then you just talk shit. So, all right. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm good. I'll go to other games that are a lot more fun. So I I go to um, a lot of Lion Claws events because of my association with Lancer. Like, they'll send me out to those, which is, you know, it's hard to say no to free airsoft. It's like, oh, yeah. you just want me to go here and play? Sure, I'll go do it. And so they're my close, only... and they're cool AOs. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So my only impression of John, I know there's a lot of, like, backstory about things that has happened between him and other people, but, like, my only interaction with the guy is, like, him walking around the field with his cell phone, like, taking pictures, going, like, hi, everybody, you having a good time? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> 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 like, if, if you, like, to be, like, okay, <laughs> I might get in trouble for this. Um, <laughs> if you want to oh take God. somebody from Lion Claws to put in the hoe bag, it's the guy named CJ who works for Lion Claws. I <laughs> despise that guy. He, oh my God. He's like one of those guys that yells at everybody all the time for no reason. It's because he's because... always drunk. Oh, yeah, it's probably that. But yeah. yeah. He's super aggro guy who's always yelling at people, and I've never had a good experience with him. And like the last game that I was at, he, he's doing his briefing. He's like, I have one rule and that's don't be a dick. And then he proceeds to break his own rule all weekend long, just screaming at people. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? <laughs> so yeah, oh my God. Uh, there, I said it. <clears throat> you need yeah. to chill out, CJ. <laughs> you need to does. chill out. Yes, you do, CJ. Calm down, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So John Liu, do, ho back. Canada man, my our boy Dayton. Date boy. From Canada. <laughs> he's a wannabe ho, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> did he go? Did he go to Austria to learn the ways of the ho from Novich? <laughs> he did. He went to learn I the whole ways. I don't know. We're gonna see him next week in Air this airsoft. I'll find out if he learned how to properly ho himself out. <laughs> wait, wait. Where is he playing? Uh, he is apparently going to Atlanta next week, uh, the 31st, March 31st, for what? the SS wow. Airsoft event. Oh, nice. Damn. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so, I'll get to play CQB with Date Boy. I'm excited. That's I rad. know. Huh. I haven't that's I haven't really hung out with Dayton outside of with when he's visiting Jet and Leah, um, but he's going to be here the 7th which is the same weekend as another game. And I think you guys are going to Uprising. Yeah. I'm going to be a punk and skip Uprising because I need to save money for the Sweden trip. So oh. I think Boy. I will go to Modern Airsoft and hang out with Date Boy. Cool. That'll and be we're fun. Gonna, cool. We're going to get further acquainted. And then I can tell you God, for it's... sure if he's a hoe or not. You will. That's going to be cool. You guys will get along really well because you're both big memers. Yay! Both really good at the memes. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys will hit it off. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Anywho, next on the on the next on the on the block is uh, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, went there. Is your husband a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what mood I'm in when you ask me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say no. Because, <laughs> at least when it comes to airsoft, the dude lives and breathes airsoft, and I'm pretty sure he loves airsoft more than anything else in the world, and he would, like, invest his... Well, I mean, we currently are investing all <laughs> of our money into, like, creating this app and... um doing a bunch of other things that he thinks will help grow the community. Mm -hmm. um, I've only ever seen him talking about Airsoft and about how to improve it and how to grow it. And he 
has been really supportive of people that he knew were doing better than him. Like a lot of people were like, oh, are you mad that Novridge is overtaking you? And he was like, no, I don't care because he's getting more people into Airsoft and that's what we want. And yep. I heard him say that like time and time again. And even even like when it's just us, like when I'm like, hey, man, but really, though. Doesn't it bother you a little bit? <laughs> really? <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm actually kind of glad not to have the big target on my pack anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I, I am fully aware, as is everyone, that we all have our douchebag moments. And I'm sure that people have their, I know that people have their different feelings about him. And I did before I met him. But once I met him and got to know him and see his true character, then I was like, oh, you're actually a really good person. Uh, okay. My bad for those snap judgments. <laughs> nice. Nice. Anywho, next one. Josh Warren. Kyle didn't get to answer. <laughs> I didn't get to talk. About, I didn't get to talk about Jet. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You didn't get to um, go, 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 go. So here's the interesting thing too: is that Jet's reputation kind of does precede him. There's like, whether they're good stories or bad, if you are playing airsoft, there's a good chance you've heard some story about Jet, and it could be, you know, oh, he didn't call his hit at this one game, or he fakes this, or blah 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 <laughs> blah. And um, I met Jet and Lee at the same time, and I had seen them at games like before that, but like, they, I don't know, I'm always weird about approaching people anyways, because I knew that they get approached a lot. So I was gonna be like, hey guys, you don't know me, but hey. So, <clears throat> but um, once like I met Jet and played with him, um, the first time that we all played together was like at a, was at SC with, uh, and Lauren came with us. Yeah. I think it was the first time we like played together. It was like just us as a group. Right. And to see Jet going out and playing at SC with, mind you, he's not wearing any cameras. Like Jet and Leah did not record that day. And when you think about that, like think about how much you have to love Airsoft where it's your job. Your job is to get as much content as possible around Airsoft, put it up on YouTube, you know, so anything interesting that happens during game, you have to really love Airsoft to be like, you know what? I'm not going to record today because I just want to play Airsoft. Like that is <laughs> mind blowing to me. So like that was like my first like time really getting to like meet Jet and Leah. And I was like, okay, they get it. Like anybody who thinks to me that like, there's like some sort of undeserved success there is just ridiculous to me because if you actually knew jet you would know how much like leah said he just loves the game like he cares about the game so i am consider myself super lucky that i know these people and sell out <laughs> and <that laughs> selling out sponsor me plucks <laughs> don't worry i'm gonna sponsor you you're sponsored by reventane plantain Hell so don't yes. worry oh. all the sniper rifles you're getting all the time. You're getting, <laughs> you're getting a sniper rifle. Oh my god! I need now. I need a freaking plan out my freaking. This trip got way more in, crazier. Okay. Anyways, next person, Josh Warren. <laughs> he's a hoe, oh. but he's a hoe that I love because that dude likes to stir <laughs> shit up, oh my and that's god. what makes him a hoe. <laughs> he loves to stir it up. Loves it. Loves it. Nice. <laughs> I feel like honestly though, as long as you don't have super thin skin, like you could get along with Josh on any day. Yeah. If you're the type of person who gets offended by anything, like if you take if you're the type of person who takes yourself so seriously, you can't look at what you're doing and realize this hobby when you like take a step back and look at it, it's kinda goofy, Josh Warren's gonna piss you off. But if yeah. you can look at it and be like, yeah, dumb, we're playing with toy guns and we're having fun and we're being goofballs. Like, yep. Josh is just, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I agree. He really only pisses people off that take themselves and everything else way too seriously. <laughs> yeah, because that's where he, like, he really, like, you know, so that's where he like, he, like, thrives on when people get, like, super serial, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then so I, it's just mm -hmm. entertaining. Uh, Dutch. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. Um, Say it. Say I, it. I, I've ha only had nice, I've only had good interactions with him in person. Uh, the way that he titles videos on his Airsoft channel, though, drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, ho titles, 
chill in person <laughs> the <whole title> so far. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I, everyone, I hope people know that I'm not serious about Dutch. <laughs> I love you, Dutch. <laughs> I um, I met Dutch at uh, where was it? Was it Uprising? Yeah, it was Uprising yeah, last year. Yeah, it was the was first time I I actually like hung out and met Dutch. And before that, I'd seen all the videos, and I was like, "This guy and his title that is like airsoft <laughs> cheaters will never cheat again when they see this gun." And I'm like, "This guy blows my balls off!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "No," but um, you know, like honestly, too, like um, I feel like Dutch cares about the game and cares about growing it. I don't always nece necessarily agree with his methods, but I feel like his heart's in the right place, and I think he's a good dude. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. Okay. I thought I thought it was cool because at the time, like he came up and introduced himself to me, and he had way more subscribers than I did. And he was like, "Oh, you probably don't know me. I'm Dutch." And I was like, "Oh yeah, I've seen your stuff. Hey, <laughs> nice to meet you." <laughs> so I thought that was cool that he's pretty. I don't know. Like I said, every interaction I've had with him has been pretty chill, which I always appreciate. Okay. I do have one right. thing for Dutch though. Dutch, if you're listening, show your face. We've all seen it. <laughs> like we know what you look like. If you live in Southern California, <laughs> he, just, he walks into Chili's seen... and he's wearing the same the same hat with a <laughs> like just trying to like shovel mask. shovel beans in through his mask. <laughs> I can't let anyone know. Uh, no that's one miserable. will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> so I have another name here. I don't know if one of you guys. I can't. He. I know one person can't say it. Uh, Laser Viper. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna get really awkward quick. <laughs> I can't call him a hoe. He's my pal. And there we go. And I also like he's been really he's been really helpful <laughs> to me, like building cosplay and stuff. And I've only seen like I've only seen him be nice to people. I know that that's not always the case because I see secret <laughs> memes. But <laughs> <laughs> but he's smart. Enough to know when to be a shithead and when not to be a shithead. So not a hoe. <laughs> not a hoe. He's he's been undefeated so far. He's there. Oh wait, oh wait, someone did call him hoe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, e yeah. Uh, P it was e Punk. It was E House. That's right. And I was. I see the. I have to put an E right there. Oh. The little ma the mark. <laughs> Punk. P Punk. I'm sure he would hate me for saying this, but he's too lovable to be a hoe. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so true. I know he, that he tries to be a hard he, ass, but he, he just is like a be, teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, he wants to be so abrasive. But honestly, it's like his abrasive side where I was like, ha, this guy's a dick. I like it. But then when we started talking, like, Punk has a huge heart, a huge, yeah. he's a huge yeah. softy. <clears throat> I'm sorry for giving you, a, I'm sorry for calling you out like that, Punk, but like, <laughs> he, he's calling you soft. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh, the reason why like him and I became so close is because like, I know how caring of a person he is. He's super genuine. He makes me laugh. He's fucking hilarious. So like, I don't, yeah, he's not in the hoe bag for me. Not a hoe. Okay. Not a hoe. All right. Uh, we're going to go with uh, someone familiar with you. Leah, Dials. Dials. Oh, man. <laughs> Dials is one of the best ever. If you yes. could only watch one Airsoft channel for all of eternity, you should watch yes. Dials. <laughs> I totally. swear. Like, I love that dude. And he is another example, <clears throat> excuse me, of someone that has so 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 much heart it's insane and he's nice to everyone he does so much for for anyone and everyone he's just an all-around good person i i honestly can't say enough nice things about that dude and he's really funny and really creative and just all around great person okay uh matt the musk oh kyle um, so I dials is like number one on my list of people that I need to meet because <laughs> yeah. like we're both from Kansas city. Like yeah. we both have a very similar sense of humor. Like when I changed my call sign, obviously I was referencing like this weird GI Joe obscure character. And he and was like, yeah, I know what that is. Oh yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But it's funny because like I fo I followed dials on Instagram, like, 
I don't know, two years ago. And I used to like, hmm. once I figured out he was from Kansas City, I would comment like, hey, hey, you're from Kansas City. Hey. And like, he would never comment back and I would get so sad. <laughs> and I, was like, Aww. Aww. I just want to share the hometown love. But um, I think it was like around the time that we did Leah's cosplay video and he was watching live. And I was like, hey, hey, Dials, hey, I'm from Kansas City. Let's be friends. <laughs> Dials, like, be my Aww. friend. <laughs> like a 12 year old, like, hey, I like stuff. Do Look you at like me. stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Dials is rad. Cool. Okay. Matt the Musket Man. <laughs> Who? Matt the Musketeer. Oh. <laughs> um. He's a hoe. <laughs> oh, she okay. did. Oh, wow. she did. Wow. That's a very firm hoe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't have a lot of comments about it, but he is... I actually have met him in person. I met him when he was a oh. YouTube gamer. Um. <clears throat> and I really liked him then. I really liked him as a YouTube gamer. Uh, I met him when I lived in San Francisco and Jet and I were secretly dating. And Jet was up visiting me. And uh, Level Cap and Matt and Jack Frags were up there for an EA like uh, gaming thing. And so we went out to dinner and hung out with them in the city for a day. <clears throat> and Matt was super cool and really funny. And I wish that would translate into his videos. But as like, I don't like the person that he is in videos, basically. But I like him as a person, not the person he is in videos. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so I haven't, um, I don't have, I have very little interaction with him. But, you know, like, I know he's very popular. So when drama happens around him, obviously it bubbles up. And then I hear about it. And the one that I saw that I was like, dude, you're a hoe, was um, a video where he's playing a, a objective-based game. I guess he has, they, they were picking something up. And somebody showed unedited footage where he got friendly fired. And rather than calling himself out, he stayed in the game. And then, like, grabbed the objective and went back. And, um, like, it's I think it's happened to all of us, like, getting That's friendly fired. Move. And it sucks. Don't get me wrong. It so sucks <laughs> so to be holy. like, dude, I'm not out. You friendly fired me. But like, if you stay in the game after getting friendly fired, you're a hoe. Yep. Okay. Like Agreed. all fire counts. I'm sorry. Yep. All right. All yep. Right. I think it's honestly because uh, to give you a little backstory, he used to, like I said, he used to just be a, a battlefield gamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was a whole bunch of crap that went down between him and, and a few other people. And he kind of got excommunicated from the battlefield community so that kind of said says something uh, um and then i think he, i think ricky was uh snoopy was talking saying about that and yeah. pretty much like with his aluminum tin hat tin hat but i guess it's true yeah no it's <laughs> it's it's true and yeah. and then he decided to get into airsoft because he'd been really interested in it and he saw it from jet stuff and when we had when i met him the first time he was like i wanted to get, get into airsoft so I think basically just the way he acts the way he does is because he came into airsoft not knowing anything but pretending like he did and so he no. just had he's he's had to compensate for he tried he became a big deal really quickly and so he had to compensate and pretend like he was a much better player than he probably was because he mm. knew that that's what he needed to do to get views right. in my opinion that's some holy. <laughs> Next person. Next person. Uh, this one's gonna be really good. Aatrox. <laughs> Obviously, a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked about that. Huge yeah. hoe. Yep. <laughs> Huge hoe. Are your softers who take Milsom too seriously? Uh, ho. Hoes. Hoes. Yeah. How about <laughs> how about air softers that won't die at Milsom West games? <laughs> 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 yeah, that too. Oh. Those are hoes. No, they'll die, right. but they won't lay down. They just stand there and complain about getting hit. And then about say, getting shot. Yeah. I'm too fat to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Storm Airsoft. I, 
have not really had enough interaction with Storm to really make a hoe or not a hoe uh, impression. I don't think I know enough to really uh, say. Oh, impression. Yeah, hoe impression. I, that's a the whole impression is TBD. Yes. <laughs> Um, so I, I know Carlos pretty well. Like I can call him by his first name. Like we're on a first name basis. Wow. Um, Oh my God. I, I like him. I think that he has a really, uh, like I, I think like when I look at my memes, I'm like, Hey, that's funny. And then I see his and I'm like, Oh, he's doing like memes that like, like are current and like make sense to like kids that are like 20 years younger than me. I can't hang with that. Cause it's like weird shit that I don't understand. And then I watch him like, what the hell is this mean? And then he gets like a million likes and I'm like, Oh, so that's what the kids are into these days. So he <laughs> definitely, like he definitely has his finger on the pulse of like that kind of thing. And I think that he is going to be a good source to bring in like younger, younger players. Um, I think yeah. also though, I think that he should spend more time like doing gaming stuff because, um, I think it, he, the crossover again between like the younger audience and what he does makes sense. And he's a gamer anyways, but, um, overall, like, yeah, he's a good dude. Um, he needs to get out of code red though. I'm sorry, storm. I'm calling you out. You can't just play at one field forever, dude. Also Dutch. <laughs> yeah. You can't just play yeah. at one field forever, like, yeah, man. You anybody. gotta get out. But that might also be just me being jealous because I'm like, man, how I travel everywhere. <laughs> And you guys just played the same damn field all the time. <laughs> How do people not get bored? You're, I mean, they're doing something right, obviously. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, brain exploder. Oh. Oh he's man. O- he's only a hoe when he backs out of our plans, like when yeah. he twists his ankle <laughs> mowing the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Only hoes twist so, their ankles. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they were in the streets. They a hoe. <laughs> uh, emojis and thumbnails. Um, they're oh, in. <clears throat> it's hoe, but it fucking yeah. works. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> unfortunately. It does, unfortunately, it's hard to it's hate annoying. on stuff that works because it's like, yeah. well, it works. Yeah. <clears throat> Airsoftology. <laughs> Uh, he's not a hoe. He's <laughs> like Mickey Mouse. That's what I jokingly call him all the time. <laughs> because he was like in Mickey Mouse Club, and so like I feel like every a lot of his channel and everything he does is just like is still like in that. That's who it's geared towards, and that's that's I mean that's who it has to be because that's a lot of his channel is playing in airsoft shops and to like 12 year olds. So it obviously right. has to be kind of very Mickey mouse. Um, yeah. So not a hoe, just Mickey. <laughs> just Mickey. Mickey. I'll put the Mickey. <laughs> okay. So uh, I haven't really talked to Jonathan in person very much. Cause again, I'm weird around people. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Like if I don't have like an in to talk to somebody, a lot of times I'm just like, I don't want to bother him. You know what I mean? But he yeah. seems like a nice a nice enough guy. But also, like, knowing his Mickey Mouse side, I really want to get him drunk. <laughs> like, oh. like, Jonathan, if you're listening, let's go get some beers. He has a dark side. That's what I want to see. I wanna <laughs> see. Oh, my God. It, it's like shadow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Or- <laughs> There's a shadow airsoftology. I want to get him drunk and play hot or not with him. Like, check this chick out. Is she Ooh. hot? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tim from Chris. <laughs> uh, that that guy is also one of my good friends. Ooh. And I'm going to say he's a hoe. Like, in a, in a loving way. Just because that dude is... He's a little bit of an elitist, and that's what makes him a hoe. But I'm pretty sure he would agree with that. So I don't think he'd have any problem with me saying that. Yeah, the uh, the first time I met Tim was, or I should say, the first time I talked to Tim, because like I meet people all the time and I don't talk to them because mm-hmm. I'm socially awkward. But um, <laughs> the first the first time I actually talked to Tim was at uh, the Balahack 10 year anniversary, and um, so I was like, Tim, right? And he's like, Yeah, and I'm like yeah, I used to watch you on uh, GI Channel. And he's like, 
yeah, a lot of people have. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sick, bro. Yeah, I was like, be gone, <laughs> I was like, fan. All right, good, good talk. Later. <laughs> Later. Yeah, but, like, he's just bye-bye. very dry like that. But, you know, like, I don't think he meant anything bad by it. I wasn't offended. And, like, after I talked to him a little bit, I was like, oh, it's just, that's that's who he is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Eva, Matt? Um, he's not a hoe. He's, he's, he's so wholesome. So, so much of the time. I wish he would be more of a hoe, actually. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I, I had a, a heart to heart with Matt, um, because I was worried. Cause I, I don't know if you guys have followed me at any point in my social <laughs> musings you'll see i've used matt as fodder for a lot of my memes and <laughs> and i i only mean them in like not shitty ways like just ways that i think are funny and not like hey, matt sucks because like there's two kinds of memes i feel like there's memes where like you use somebody's likeness and you make something funny and then there's memes where you use someone's likeness because you want to trash them and yeah. um yeah so I was like, oh, man, I hope he understands, like, these aren't me, like, trying to be a dick. So I talked to him about it, and he was like, no, dude, it's fine. And I was like, okay. So I like Matt. I think he's cool. Um, I would not put him in the, in the hoe bag. He kind of has a tough job because um, he's one of those people, too, kind of like Jonathan, where, like, he's kind of like the face of Airsoft. So he has to, like, kind of be, quote, unquote, on anytime he's at a field yeah. for, right. like, people to approach him and talk to him because, like, people do want to do that. So... Like the fact that he's able to do that and like not have a meltdown. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't. I honestly don't see how he does it. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, man, Matt, how are you so put together all of the time? Especially when you're just getting constantly mobbed. With like sometimes know. really yeah. stupid questions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's a good? What's a good beginner's pistol? That yeah, dude like, has so much patience. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, rapid fire these ones. SYG. Not a hoe. Uh, not a hoe except for Sosa. Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's Ooh. the the video at the Airsoft or the Milson versus Speedsoft game oh. where Sosa caught, shot that kid in the ear. Yeah, and then that's Matt, a dick move. And, and then Matt's like, you need to leave. And then he wouldn't leave. So like, sorry. Oh, yeah. like, hoe move. The, that's a whole move. Whole, whole I wouldn't move. call it all move. of SYG. I think, like, for example, Demo, I love that guy. I think he's super rad. But, like, I, I don't know Sosa other than seeing that move from him, and I'm like, that's a dick thing to do. Damn. Yeah. All right. David Lee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> the reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he can definitely be a hoe. I think he's got a. I think he actually has overall good intentions, but no social awareness. <laughs> so does he go in the bag? Um, he can go in the bag. Yeah, sorry, David. <laughs> I would say that to your face, though. <laughs> Pretty much all of these, I would say that. Yeah, all of these, I would say it to your face. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat. Well, I pretty um, much have. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know David very well other than um, the my first introduction to David was when the very first C3 Underground game happened and he called it elitist and I was like Mm-mm, no oh ooh, that's a whole uh, that's yeah <laughs> a so free, a free game is yeah <laughs> I don't know how is it because you didn't get invited or like <laughs> like I don't know what the deal was with that so that that's why I put him in the hoe bag, and plus I know there's a lot of other stories about him, but they don't involve me. But um, if I met him, I would of course I'd want to talk to him. Like we follow each other on Instagram. Some of the stuff he says about the military, I think, is a little opinionated, especially if you haven't served before. But like <laughs> yeah. Leo, like you said, I think he has good intentions, but just the social awareness might not be totally there. Yeah. Okay. We're going through the last last two here. You ready? Ready. Men of Airsoft. <laughs> oh, and the, here's your pl- I'm, I'm, Can I can I take this one? Can I start with this one? Sure, oh, sure. I'm sorry. But you guys. Oh. Every single one of you belong in the hoe bag. I got sucked into <laughs> Men of Airsoft for two weeks, and it was the worst two weeks of my life because it was cringy <laughs> as fuck. It was dudes who I'm sorry, you guys couldn't get laid if you 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Holy but it's shit. like it's Holy these shit. it's these bottom of the barrel like betas who use this private group to talk shit on females who would never give them the time of day. And I'm sorry, but I was like, you guys are fucking so lame. Like the shit that was being said, I wasn't gonna go and repeat it because it doesn't do any good to repeat crap like that. Um, but I know it got it imploded. I know it like turned into the the big drama that it turned into once it got kind of exposed for what it was. Once people like Jim got into it and like started just ripping people up, <laughs> which I thought was awesome, by the way. <laughs> but it's like the whole the whole point of women of airsoft in my mind, and like Leah, obviously you have way more to say about it than I do. Isn't isn't to separate women out right. from the game or call them out as being special. And Men of Airsoft, I feel like, took that as what it was and then tried to like turn it in their group into something else where it was like a shit talk group and I was like, I'm not, I don't want anything to do with any of this. Yeah. I mean, that that you you pretty much nailed it on the head. It's just, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I really don't get the obsession. I think it's kind of weird and creepy. So like, I am trying, I just don't want to give them any attention because it's like, it's, it's honestly super creepy to me. So it's like, all right, just stalk all these girls and talk about them secretly in your groups if that's what you're going to do. But it's just creepy behavior to me. <laughs> are they still around? <laughs> oh, like, are they I don't know. Are they still a group? <clears throat> oh, of course. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> So at least the good thing is it's like it's out of sight, out of mind. Because now that I'm not in the group, I don't even think about it. Yeah. They can have their yeah. whatever. Yeah. Whatever <laughs> makes them feel good about themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, what do you think about this amazing group of gentlemen? Oh, that like that's pretty much my piece of like what I said. I think it's weird and creepy that they just want to stalk so many women and then copy everything they do and then act like they're super uh, edgy. I don't know, it's just weird. The level of stalking is just getting weird, so. Yeah, but also that's... like trying to call various members of Women of Airsoft out, like they're trying to sabotage their lives outside of Airsoft even, which is like mind blowing yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. it's only like, they really it really only bothers me when it gets to the point of where for instance, in one point, there were people threatening to come to my house and talking about vandalism and talking about how they should kill me. And at that, what the at fuck? that point, I think it's I think it's definitely going overboard. And so that's when I decide to address stuff. Yeah. But but until that point, like they can get their jollies off however they want, and like I don't have to see it. I don't give a shit because. Obviously, their lives are pretty sad if that <laughs> if yeah. it all revolves around. I'm complaining women. on the internet about girls on airsoft. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> like uh, all right, uh, whatever mm. makes you feel good about yourself, I guess. <laughs> Have fun. Just please don't put my life or my kids' lives in danger, please. That's really all <laughs> I ask from that group. Mm. <clears throat> And so that's not last but not least, uh, women of airsoft. <laughs> uh, not hoes. Um, although I will say, if you can, you say like there's like some if you want women that if are if you want some if you want some edgy content. I will say people mm -hmm. that use the hashtag women of airsoft and aren't in the group are hoes. Because there are and, women that do that, and they're mm. just fucking gun bunnies, and it annoys the shit out of me. But I don't say anything because that's some people's jam, so whatever. But if th I, that's probably about, I don't know. There's girls, I think, in Women of Airsoft that really have good hearts and that are really in it for the right reasons. As yeah. with any hobby, there are people that are in it that just see that it's an easy way to get attention and they'll exploit right. that as much as possible. And there's definitely people, I'm sure there's some of people that are in that group that do that. I don't know that many because I discourage it as much as possible, but I'm sure it still happens. Um, and anyone that uses the hashtag women of airsoft to promote themselves and they're not in the group especially if there are people that have removed themselves from the group and they still use that hashtag, they're definitely hoes. <laughs> mm. Thirsty hoes. Thirsty hoes. 
All right. I'm going to say uh, Nadaho to that group also. <laughs> um, even though I don't know what happens in it, I understand why it was created. And um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, like I said before, I think certain people just see it as like a way for like a, it's like a separatist thing. And that's not it at all. Um, it's a place for girls to talk about stuff and airsoft that probably a lot of guys wouldn't want to talk about anyway. Yeah, so, we do talk about our periods yeah, and a comfortable, know, like, a, kind of a ridiculous amount. Probably every time girls are going to an AO, like, people like, <laughs> that, that conversation happens pretty frequently in that group, and I'm sure other people don't want to hear how we deal with our periods at airsoft games. <laughs> 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 I mean, so, yeah. I could go into detail if you guys want, but I don't think anybody wants to hear that. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I don't think that it's it's this malicious group, and I don't know why anybody would take it that way or like get offended by it. But you know, yeah, there's I mean, snowflakes everywhere. Yeah, people just like being mad. That's true. It's 2018. Yeah. Let's get mad about stuff. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. It's good, man. You tw- 2017 was, you know, make anime real again, and now it's uh, make anime real. Now it's everybody gets offended <laughs> oh, can, and triggered. Can I throw my own person into the hoe or not a hoe? You oh, can throw because whoever Because I was you want. anticipating me... this, and it never came out. Okay. Let me, just give me some names. <clears throat> I've just got one. Gonna... I've just got oh, one. Oh, I bet I know who it is. Yeah, you, Airsoft Heldon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, wait, who? Airsoft, Airsoft who? Heldine. Airsoft Heldin. 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 Airsoft Heldin. Oh. Lara. 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 <laughs> she a hoe. She's a gun bunny hoe, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'll start. So Same. I'm going to okay. put Airsoft Heldin in the hoe bag. And the reason why is... So here's what I understand what I've learned about Elsa. Airsoft Helden is actually like a company. It's a German company. And Mm -hmm. Lara's boyfriend (laughs) runs like games in Germany. And I think he runs the biggest or one of the biggest um, Milsim games there. Yeah. And so that's his company. But he has decided at some point that his girlfriend should be the face of the company because girls, right? People like girls. And, um, so she, he, she's in all of the pictures promoting things, which is fine, except yeah. from what I understand and from what I've seen, at least, she doesn't really play. She's relatively new to the sport, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're making someone be the face of Airsoft is almost like you're you're trying to promote it and push it and make it a thing. Why would you do that with somebody who's just like, for lack of a better term, a model when there's plenty of people that play Airsoft like her boyfriend obviously plays airsoft. Why is he not the face of his own company? It's just, mm-hmm. it's weird to me. It feels like she's kind of getting like thrust into this. And I'm not saying she doesn't enjoy airsoft or that she doesn't want to play airsoft or get better out of it, but she clearly is very new to it and doesn't know a lot about it. And it makes for awkward situations, which I'm sure Leah can elaborate <laughs> on. <laughs> well, my, I think my biggest point to, to that is don't try to the thing that annoys me the most about any any person that tries to make themselves a personality with an airsoft and wants to give advice and etc you can't do that if you don't know what you're talking about there's no point in you being a spokesperson for a company if you don't know what you're talking about if you don't know anything about the industry I, it just doesn't make sense to me. So why yeah. why do it? I mean, for sure, definitely do it if you if that's something that she's truly passionate about and that she stays involved in and keeps playing yeah. and actually has the knowledge and the experience to back it up. But from what I've seen, it seems more like just getting spoon fed information and then regurgitating that rather than actually learning for yourself or actually playing. I. I know that she goes out on the field in gear with a gun, <laughs> but that's essentially all that I know because in all of the videos, it just, she's not wearing a camera. She's not playing. Right. It, the, they give her kills, but you, she's not even on camera. She's so off camera. It. Yeah, it's like, yeah. What the fuck? No, is she on YouTube? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... What the fuck? So all of the gameplay videos are from her boyfriend's perspective. So he films himself. She's with him sometimes, but mm -hmm. she's off camera, or most of the time she's behind him. And Oh, my God. How did I not find out about this person? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> How are well, you so friends with Snoopy oh, and don't know about her? Right? She's like his favorite person. Snoopy <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, but like Snoopy and I are like really BFFs, really battle buddies. But like, we're like two different types of people. Like, <laughs> he loves to get into drama, and for me, I like to just like, like, he likes to like drag and like, you know, and I like to like pet it. So, <laughs> pet. so I actually you, came up with this game, so. <laughs> so, are you, it's are, fun. You, are you trying to say you're putting Snoopy in the hoe bag? He's going into. He's going. He's. He's my dude. I mean, I put he's people my I hoe. like in he's a hoe. He's my in hoe. hoe bag. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what. That's that's how I feel about Snoopy. Like. Yeah, he's my. I hoe. don't. Yeah. I don't think that he's a bad person at all. No. I think that he makes some hoe moves, and so that's why I put him in the hoe bag. But I don't think in his like, deep down in his heart that he's a bad person at all. Like I don't think no. he's a hoe in his mm -hmm. heart. No. But no, I put I, him in the hoe bag because he makes hoe moves. <laughs> <laughs> I I love the guy. I love the guy. Same. He's, yeah. We, I mean, Snoopy's one but of you. Are, <laughs> you are a hoe. I mean, I love you. But I don't love them hoes. <laughs> you are a hoe. <laughs> we all love our hoes, man. We all have hoes that we love. It's true. Yeah. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> all right. So let's, let's review the, the hoe bag. So you got Revention. You got Snoopy. Hmm. You got uh, f people who they use full auto in semi games. You got six millimeter Valor. Oh. You got you got your boy Navi boy. No. <laughs> Rest in peace, kid. DS no, not DSG. Uh, John Roo. John Roo. Uh, Josh <laughs> Josh Warren. <laughs> Le Dutch. Uh, do do do. Matt the Musketeer. Aatrox for hmm. uh, who. <laughs> Air softers who take Milsim too seriously, uh, brain exploder, emojis on thumbnails, Tim, David Lee, and Men of Airsoft. And of course, your favorite YouTuber, Liam, <laughs> Airsoft Elton. <laughs> Ho. Oh my god. I was waiting the whole get, podcast for you to bring it up and it didn't happen, so I had I, to do I, it myself. I was prepared too, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I texted Leah and I was like, "So did Rev tell you anything about what we're gonna talk about?" And she's like, "No," because in my head I was like, "I wonder if Heldon's gonna come up." I know. I mean, seriously. I, wonder... I mean, the platform's yours. I think I have a fun time with this. You know, the platform is yours. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Just looking at this, this is just cringe. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is. Bad. This, is this is not okay. So here's the thing, though. Like, I want to kind of clarify too that like i feel like gatekeeping in hobbies sucks gatekeeping is where like you make fun of people who are new to the sport because you somehow are better than them because you know more and you've been doing it longer and in helden's case i'm not trying to gatekeep because if she genuinely cares about airsoft like i want her to do it the reason Same. why mm -hmm. we're calling her out though is because she comes out of nowhere and is presenting herself like she is a authority on the subject and it's like no you, you, you're not <laughs> right. like why are why are you doing this right and there's right. there's nothing wrong with that i feel like i mean like when i do videos and i breach a topic where maybe i'm not super familiar i'll say it like you know what i i don't really know about this like i'm learning about it like i'll be the first to tell you like i can't break open an airsoft gun and like take up a part of gearbox and put it back together I know mm -hmm. like what the parts are inside and what their function is, but like, so like it's, there's nothing wrong with saying what you do and don't know, but I think there's something wrong with trying to overly sell yourself. Like you are something that you're not. I agree. Cause like, I'm the same way. I know all the parts that go in an airsoft gun. Could I put it together and it function perfectly? <laughs> no. Yeah. And so uh, whenever no. people ask me t tech questions, I'm like, uh, honestly, I don't tech my own guns because I'm really bad at it. So I give them to <laughs> someone else. Yeah. Like, just admit, be. I think we could all benefit a lot more if people would just be open about the things that they do and do not know because there is a huge, huge learning curve in airsoft, in my totally. opinion. Totally. And yep. and so when you don't know what you're talking about, 
it's really super obvious to all of the veteran players. It might not be obvious to new players, but it's super obvious to veteran players, and it just makes you look really bad. Hmm. And I feel like a lot of like the brand bias that happens in Airsoft comes from some of that, where people are like, oh yeah, this brand sucks. And it's like, well, do you have any experience from that brand, or are you just repeating what you heard? Right. No, but I heard from uh, from the streets that, <laughs> cri- that, ve- that the Chris Vector is actually made by Wheatag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When- <laughs> When I see that the places that some people get their, especially since I was worked in the industry, in the distribution industry, and I saw like what happens on the manufacturing level and stuff, mm-hmm. whenever I see people talking in a very know-it-all way about how they know what goes on, I'm just like, okay, <laughs> sure you yeah. do. It's because like, yeah, you totally because you read this conspiracy theory somewhere <laughs> in some like scrubby Facebook group. <laughs> sure, sure, you're super informed. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, so yes, that's so. I guess that's the end of the the whole bag. The whole bag. We're out of hose. <laughs> All out of hoes. We got a hose. All out of hoes. Unless you want to have more hose. No, that's all. I'm I'm good on hose. Yep. I'm same. set. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. So yeah, let's let's start to wrap this up. Man, we talked a lot about them hoes. Yeah, though. we did. <laughs> hose took a lot yeah. of time. <laughs> yeah, we had a, we had a hose sesh here. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so let's see. Let's see. What do what to talk about? Man, I'm trying to pimp out this new product here I'm trying to print pimp it out the kys 69 you know you know kyle knows all about I it do. Uh-huh. i'm trying he does i'm trying to work really hard on it and i was wondering if you want to get the um, if you want to get some feedback on it too leah if you want to check out the kys 69 do i want to check out the kys 69 yeah the, the, yes the sniper rifle yes the one that was on kyle's channel Yes. I honestly, I'll be super honest since we just talked about this, especially like I don't know anything about it. So, and I've like I've not got into sniping at all. So, oh. like, my opinion is not good. <laughs> oh, that's fine, <laughs> but that's valuable. fine. But that's fine. <laughs> but that's totally fine because right here in my stack of papers of blueprints, <laughs> I got a stack. I got I, I got a stack of papers right here. I swear to God, they're blueprints. Okay. I got this assault rifle in mind, all right? Uh Uh-huh. It's called a snowflake gun. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so it's a KYS snowflake gun. It's fully modular. It's very, very sensitive. It's a very nice gun. It's, It's totally, like, you know, totally fine, totally legal, totally cool. You know, it's completely white. It's got a little smiley face. It's got a YouTube channel logo, so it's all <laughs> kid-friendly. In fact, it actually just, whenever you upload videos of the KYS69 Snowflake Edition, all you do is that you put it on YouTube Kids. <laughs> so oh, right off no. the bat, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect for that, right? So... So once you got that right, so right if you ask it, okay, what else does it do? Well, you ask me like when you come to, when you bring it to the field, it kind of just stays in the bag and doesn't want to go out because it's too scared to like <laughs> work. But all it does, but it looks really nice. It's it's really pretty. It smiles. It's got a lot of emojis. It's got a lot of happy faces. I mean, that's it's all got really need. nice. Yeah. Yeah, you know, all you need is like some memes and you're good to go. You know, ha ha, yeah. So like, there. So that's what I'm coming up with. I don't know if you would be interested in it. Uh, in that kind of I game. mean, obviously, I would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, right. I I highly suggest watching my review of the KYS 69 <laughs> after this. I'm so actually you can watching be, it right so now. You, <laughs> so you can be fully prepared <laughs> for what you're so getting it's, yourself into. It's so. <laughs> because, it's so beautiful. It's probably like <laughs> the nicest airsoft gun I have ever seen in my life. Okay, first impressions, first impressions, first impressions. Okay. Let me tell you something. KYS 69 or SSG 24. Oh, man. Drop it. The KYS 69, if only for the beautiful aesthetics. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, like, my God. The aesthetics just overall just blow me away right now. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I got to get my hands oh on my. one of those. I'll have a snipe off with Jet. He's getting an SSG yes. 24. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. So right off the bat, I'm warning you when you when the SSG, when you see the super shitty gun, when it sees that KYS 69 like on the field, it's gonna just it's just not gonna work okay. anymore. It's just gonna be like oh no, oh no, <laughs> in Austrian and just like run and skedaddle. Yeah, and You'll and see. then I end it and then I end the video with killing myself. Right? That's how it goes. <laughs> no, no, that's not what it means. That's not what it means. So I'm also trying to come up with like some new attachments. I want to maybe you can can run it through me. It's for the sniper rifle. So I'm looking to add a drum mag to oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah, necessary. Yeah, so necessary. It's gonna be an HPA tapped. It's gonna be HPA tapped for the Springer, uh, the Spring sniper rifle. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, it's a Spring. Mm -hmm. So makes all the sense in the world. On top of it, uh, I'm gonna be upgrading the 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 scope itself because because Scott <laughs> knows how amazing it is. It's a zero times scope. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so I'm looking to upgrade that to our new toilet paper roll that I'm just going to put it, I'm going to mail with a with one of my used toilet papers and just like <laughs> stick it on it and tell them, just stick it on top of it so it kind of like mounts on top so it's like a zero times, but it's like a one times if you fail me like a red dot without the red dot yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't red and it was made out of cardboard. Um, can, can I give you a tip for something that it, that it really needs to like really pull it off to improve it? Okay. All right, um, hit me with it. I'm, t I'm writing it down right now. You really need uh, your own brand of action cam to go with it. Yeah. I, I would say maybe like a Polaroid uh, snap <laughs> camera is what I'm thinking Holy off the shit. bat. <laughs> He's writing. Hold on one He's second. Writing. <laughs> I'm writing feverishly down. I mean, Hold on. You, can't, you can't be... You can't have your own line of sniper rifles without having your own zoom cam, right? That's so, true. So here's a, so I have an idea. Hold on, I'm like the Michelangelo right now, and you're my muse. <laughs> so hear me out here. Hear me out here. We got a scope cam. So people love scope cams, and they're always like, "Oh my god, I love to see the BB like hit the person." Well, how about if you see the BB and the skeleton of the person? I'm talking about the KYS X-ray zoom cam, well, <laughs> where it shoots a photon of of, <laughs> of X-rays at the person, so you can actually see the human anatomy of the skeletons while the person's getting hit yes what do you think it, yes it's like that uh sniper elite game when you shoot people and you can, like see the bullet going through their skull and shit okay yes yes that's yes. what's up that's definitely gonna work all right that's what's up yeah yeah i feel it yeah all right i feel it and what about like one that just has a permanent emoji on on the sticker of the lens <laughs> <laughs> just covering it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just like right covering it. Well, do, can you change it? Like, can you pick the emoji? No, that's gonna be actually uh, <laughs> a little bit extra. That's cost extra. Okay. That's an add-on. Wow. Well, then, yeah, but we customize it. Oh, we customize man. it. So but then I, I suggest stock. The stock emoji is the poop one, and then the custom one okay. is the the laughing crying face. The laughing crying yeah. face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm writing this down. Agreed. Agreed. Oh my god. Can we get this in before April 1st? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It'll be a close one. It's going to be too close. Yeah. Though Dials is getting a 1912. <laughs> it's one more. <laughs> it's one more 1911 strapped to each other. Oh man. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> and then and then I'm making also the uh the what was it? The Doing math here, <laughs> the eight, the the eight, the eight fifty, or the eight sixty. <laughs> Six. There you yeah. go. No, 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 no. no. It's a nineteen eleven. Oh. It's a nineteen eleven that I just cut in half. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what have you got for the AK lovers? Oh, the AK. Yeah, the AK. Oh, that's the one that I, that every time you shoot a bullet out, it, all it does is just. just it just says the national anthem for Russia. <laughs> it has a Bluetooth speaker attached. <laughs> exactly. It has to say like something Putin related because you know, <laughs> he did just win re-election. A That's very right. fair one, we all know. Yes. <laughs> and the worst part was that he, my, my boy, Donnie, congratulated him when people told like, him don't, hey, don't congratulate him. him. It's gonna look bad. Don't, don't, Donnie don't doesn't do, do what people don't. tell him to do. 
I, I love my. Do I love what Donnie. Tell me to do. I, I'll call who I, I want to call. I call the best people. I love my boss. I love him. He's the best. He he's helping us out with my stuff. I can't. He gave us a pay bump, so I'm totally fine with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you're in the military, it's it's harder. It's much harder to hate Donnie when you're making more yeah, money. my boy. Shout. Yeah. Anywho, I think we can. I think this is what we're gonna call it. Let's do. Let's. Uh, if you got anything to plug, let's plug it. Kyle, what do you got to plug? Um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> go go watch my YouTube videos and be like, that guy's an idiot. And I'll be like, yeah. Whatever. He makes cool <laughs> airsoft videos. He's another like, Kyle uh, Rad Plastic is another like un. Uh, I don't know. He he doesn't get as near as many views as he should get. I really don't understand YouTube because like all of my favorite channels are not the big channels because the big channels are really not that entertaining to me. And like <laughs> you and Dials are super entertaining and I don't understand <laughs> why you guys don't have like a billion subscribers. I want to You need the emojis. TBH. I want to do a, yeah, I want to do a joint video with Dials. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah, that would I think be we could, yeah. I think we could have some fun with that. Yeah. Go to an AMS event. I mean, um, Milson West. Let's just all go to Kansas. <laughs> Honestly, oh like, God. we could. <laughs> like, we've all got family there. Yeah, yeah, we should. That would be great. We should make a, we should make a yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have, all right. I'll have my people call your people. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> He's in contact with your agent. <laughs> Your YouTube agent. <laughs> Leah, what'd you got to plug? Um, check out my YouTube channel if you haven't already. There's uh, lots of fake news on there. And also, <laughs> uh, check, also check out uh, Desert Fox events and the new Blue Fox Tracker, the thing that we are investing literally all of our money into, which is an app that you can use while you're playing Airsoft and it's augmented reality while you're playing Airsoft. Basically Pokemon Go with Airsoft guns. So check that out at DesertFoxAirsoftEvents.com There's an event at Camp Shelby next month. So it'd be cool mm. to see people there. And I think I'm going to be there. That would be awesome because it's, it's mm -hmm. pretty... It's, it caters to LARPing and ridiculous costumes, which I really like. So... Hopefully, I do see you there. It would be 30, rad. 36 out of 10. We'll vouch. Like, <laughs> 36 out of 10. I did the first one. Right, I gonna... had so much fun. I mean, partially the people, like, it was like all my best friends, like, getting together and dressing up silly and, like, having a blast. But the app itself is so freaking cool. And um, I... Mm -hmm loved the little chat option i abused it i'm not gonna lie uh, <laughs> uh, i didn't use it as well as i probably should have because i was asking jet what the best gun was for under 150 dollars <laughs> <laughs> during the game <laughs> that's a meme now but it, was, it, was... it was really cool to be able to see where your team is know exactly where the objectives are because i hate like you go to an ao and you're like oh we got to take that building over there like which building the tan building well, they're all tan. Which one? That one right there I'm pointing at. I'm like, I I don't get it. Where you have the app, you know exactly where you're supposed to go, how close you are, where, you're, where you are in relation to your teammates. You have a constant line of communication to your squad leaders as long as you, like, take a second to check your chat. So, like, it was a really cool way to play, and I sold out, so. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> the other cool thing that, we, that I liked about it was that people used it for just regular social networking like yeah. after in the evening times and stuff people would be chatting on it saying like where are you going after this and they used it to like meet up with other people that they met on the field uh to go hang out that night and then people were even chatting in it like with like telling jokes and and stuff from the game like even up to a month afterwards there were still people being active in the chat which was really funny to me <laughs> <laughs> nice i like too like the people that didn't sign out of the app because i would see him and i'm like hey i could see a guy who's signed into the app and he's like in washington right now yeah <laughs> yeah yeah uh our next update is going to be like to be able to kick people out because I'm sure really? not everybody wants to be tracked, but totally, <laughs> like totally. just sign out of the app yeah. if you don't like. 
it's super easy though all you have to do is sign out if you don't want to be tracked but it would be cool too to like um as an option to um well two things one would be like to add friends like you were Mm -hmm. saying where people were meeting up it'd be cool if like you were able to actually like add friends to your list and then two like a spectator mode i don't know if there's like if you don't get Oh, okay, cool. Because if you don't get scanned <laughs> into the game, you can't really see what's going on. But for those of us who are stuck on the West Coast for game two, like it would be really fun to like pop in and, and just check the score from time to time and be like, oh, blue's winning or red's winning and like see the chat as it's happening. Yep. Yeah. We have there, I think they have right now, we're on phase one of the Blue Fox tracker. And I think they have up to almost eight phases already planned out of, oh, of wow. new stuff to come out. So Dang. yeah, it just has to be. We just have to keep investing into it. It's just expensive. Like apps are, apps are really expensive if you've ever invested in one. Um, you know, mm. it's kind of funny you mentioned that because <laughs> at work they asked me to kind of help develop an app for this trade show that we go to, and we made a dumb game. Like you should make it into an app, and so I looked into it, and you are right. Like I wasn't even trying to make anything very extravagant, and it's super expensive. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so like people 10. know when you buy your tickets for desert fox events you're not getting ripped off like you're yeah. helping pay for this technology and to make it better yeah yeah we still uh, are paying the app off right now <laughs> so, so, i mean to be honest with you guys apps are like a minimum of like 80 to 100k just to start yep so like yeah, people sh- when people are like blah blah blah, blah about the app, like we're getting money like okay well just know that we've invested like if people talk shit at us anymore i'm just like i don't give a shit we invested a a lot of money into creating something for you guys so you can call us all the names you want it's (laughs) whatever (laughs) yeah god forbid you try to make money god forbid oh yeah i mean we're not even like honestly we're not even trying to make money we just want to cover the cost of the app because we think that it's something that's good for airsoft like we're really haven't gotten to a point where we're trying to make money off of it yet. We may eventually, but we want it to be a lot better before we start making yeah. money off of it. Yeah. Because we're not like that's bags. the thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, we totally just like went off the cuff, but man, I, I would love to talk about this more because, like, I think that with like YouTube and stuff, like, you can't just be a YouTuber, a airsoft YouTuber, and just like unless you're like Novrich or someone or like one of the bigger ones that gets like us thousands or millions of views. I think. I mean, I think I'm, now it's like I'm sure too that via you. I mean, you talk to Christoph on occasion, but um, I'm sure he's even been hit by this to a degree, right? I mean, mm-hmm. he wouldn't be developing his own products if he wasn't trying to, yeah. you know, recover things. So yeah. I, yeah. I think the the whole YouTube thing affected everybody, no matter the size of your channel. Mm-hmm. Yep. And and to like say something good about Novrich, like people can hate on him all they want to, but when I was working in the industry, I saw like what the minimum order quantity was for starting like a a brand new gun line. Oh my and god. And he has invested, I bet he's invested half a million dollars into into making newer and better sniper rifles. So, like, sure, we can hate on him all we want for trying to brand his content, but the dude has invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into trying to make better quality guns for us. So, like... Yeah. eh. And to be honest, he could charge more. He could be charging more than he is. Probably, yeah. Like, like, I mean, so I think it comes out to, like, 500 and, what, like, 50-ish bucks for an SSG-24? Yeah. And I've... I haven't spent that much on a gun, but also, I mean, you've got folks like Umbrella Armory where their guns are like 1200 bucks and people willingly shell it out. So right. he's basically selling you a sniper rifle saying, you don't need to do anything to this. I've already done everything that I think would make it as good as it possibly can be. And it's well under a thousand dollars. Like that's, that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's our uh, rant. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but it's fine. I, I'm, I'm really liking this discussion. I really want you guys back. Definitely gonna have you guys back again. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I like maybe sometime Jet could be on because he can talk about the, like, if you guys want to talk about more investing into airsoft, Jet would be a good person to talk to too because he's really gotten into creating, um, 
newer newer things for airsoft and trying to grow it in a different way from what everyone else is doing too so i'm sure he would be happy to talk to it at length and he would be an interesting person to play the the dick bag game with (laughs) 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 yeah oh man yeah i want to see i want to hear his answers i do too (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah, definitely get him on. I'll. Um, I. I mean, I. It seems like he's very hard to reach sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Even for his wife, he's hard to reach. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm the shade. <laughs> it's not shade. It's just real. <laughs> like yeah. anybody that knows him, uh, will agree with that. <laughs> well, I mean, Damn. like case in point too. Like, you know, um, I don't get weird out. Like, we'll go sometimes months without seeing each other because you guys, you're just busy. Like, yeah, I, and we're gone. I know sometimes people get weird about that, but I'm like, yeah, they're doing stuff. Like, it's yeah, no big deal. I think we are home for like, uh, ten, maybe, maybe like twelve or fifteen days for the next for like March and April. So <laughs> oh wow. we're traveling a lot. So that's also just it. Like, we're just not home a lot, <laughs> and so it's hard for us to keep up with everything. Wow. Yeah. And like, and is this like, that's just trial for like airsoft? Yeah. And, wow. Because if you think about it, there's everyone expects, uh, a lot of people expect us to go to their games. There's on average of one or two Milsim games a month. We go to those. We go to, uh, we do local store and field visits. We do, um, we play just on our own time too. And we do stuff. So, Especially during this springtime, this is like prime. We call this like airsoft season because from like <laughs> February until like May is just swamped with events because everyone has their events from like February to May and then they take off a summer. There's not very many events during the summer and then there's a shitload of events from like August to November. So those are our super, super busy, busy months. Because there's, I mean, there's enough. If you think about it, there's enough Milsim promoters and event promoters and everything. Realistically, you could go to an airsoft event probably every weekend of the year if you wanted to. Oh Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ! But you, but you'd be traveling all over the world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and we have to an extent. We've just, I mean, not all over the world, but to the Caribbean. But we're trying to make it over to Europe this year. We'll see if it happens. Nice. So, and I'm, yeah, not, I'm gonna. Just, drag you guys along for japan round two. <laughs> oh Ooh, man nice. we def- definitely want to make that happen for sure that's that sounds like fun yeah, yeah and you definitely need to come down to florida to check out um the doomsday guys they do pretty good stuff <clears throat> we've been talking about that how much we want to go to florida we just have to figure out how to make it work with our schedules and everything else but yeah. the florida community is like popping oh yeah it it's- really is mm-hmm it's like California, Florida, and Texas are like just crazy big. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I loved like I've been playing with like um, with Scott from US Airsoft and he showed me Texas paintball and I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is the most beautiful place on earth. <laughs> You've been there, right? No, I haven't. Oh, okay, okay. It's like you just see like a stream of like beautiful water, like ma- like places where you get those like camping spots, like little buildings and stuff. Oh, cool. And then like there's like a huge town that looks like like an Italy, like a, like a San- pretty much like a little old like um, Western style with like four story buildings and stuff. It's lit. It's lit. Cool. Nice. How close I'm- are you to D14? I'm like five or six hours away. Oh, okay. Have you have you been? Not yet, the, but I'm looking it's to. It's one of the Texas fields, too, that I, like, see a lot of, and I'm like, I want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> next game, next t- next event or something, whenever someone's coming, I'll probably, um, I'll definitely go, because I'm going to be there for, you know, like, three more years. Do it. That the one thing that I really just can't stand is when people, like, start using, like, the military stuff to, like, like pimp out their videos like look at this you know, noobs versus military and then it's like oh boy <laughs> yeah here comes rev about to get triggered yeah when they it's when people super overplay it is when it's yeah yeah when it's cringy i and, think 
Yeah, and you know what the thing is? Like, I found that now that now with um, now with this current situation that I'm in, it's like I'm reverting backwards, and I don't want to go towards that <laughs> because I feel like it's kind of like putting on too much of a. I don't know. It feels kind of way too much for me. Whereas I'm going more like I wouldn't mind going civilian and just being a crazy, you know, a crazy civilian. You yeah, know? I mean, and having fun. Why? Why would you? Uh, that's what I hear from everybody that's in the military is why would I want to play like pretend pretend U.S. Army when I do that already or like U.S. military. I would much rather play any other faction but U.S. military <laughs> faction. I'm kind of the same <laughs> way. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my so that was my my little rant. <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep it or not. But yeah, like I love it. I, mm-hmm. I I still love the sport, even though like, I, I try to play and, mm-hmm. yeah, getting moving around and stuff sucks. But, you know, I got to meet a lot of new people and stuff. Yeah. It's so fun, man. Yeah, it's you. like we're going to we're going to we're going to have drinks. We're going to have some drinks. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll have fun next week and I'll talk with all of us. Whole lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. I'll try to, I'll try to sneak Snoop. I'll try to sneak Snoopy in there. <laughs> Why would he not be able to go? Uh he he lives like thirteen hours away. That is far. Oof. Yeah. That is far. Yeah, from. I got lucky because I I got like the way everything like timed out. It timed out pretty well where I can go to, uh, your event and then go to SS Airsoft too. That's awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, cool. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to have a good break with what's going on mm-hmm. now and all my training. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. Great. It's going to be awesome. It's great. Airsoft. Yes. Airsoft. Can't wait. <laughs> anyway, let's let's draw let's kill the let's kill the audio cuz we're going to be set, upload having to send me yeah. this. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> yeah. So guys, thanks for listening, watching the, uh, well, not watching. Thanks for listening to the 6mm Podcast. I've been Rev. She's been Leah. He's been Kyle. Snoopy's somewhere out there, outside. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he needs to come back. He's coming back. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Love y'all. Peace. Bye. Bye.